benign prostatic hyperplasia is a benign enlargement of the tissue involving the central portion of the prostate gland. And what it does when it occurs is that it will cause obstruction to men's voiding and it can lower your stream flow. It can uh, cause frequency and urgency to void. Treatment options depend on the severity of symptoms and what the patient would like to do, as well as whether or not it's going to cause any kind of health problems, such as a blockage relating to kidney failure or something along those lines. And there are a number of surgical options involved. There are minimally invasive type surgical options, such as a procedure called Eurolift, and then they go all the way up to other procedures, including robotic simple prostatectomies for very large glands. In the middle ground uh, portion of those treatment options, the gold standard procedure that has been done for decades is called the TERP procedure, a transurethral resection of the prostate. And basically what you do with that is a scope is inserted into the prostate through the urethra and uh, you basically core out the central portion of the prostate to make the channel larger and that helps to improve flow in most men. And now we have aqua ablation, which is um, a robotic procedure that is a natural orifice type surgery, or notes procedure as we call it, um, that can actually treat larger glands and in some cases avoid the robotic procedure for larger glands. The biggest thing about BPH is that when you're having these symptoms is you really need to be screened for prostate cancer. Uh, that should be part of the workup because in many cases, some of these symptoms can be associated with prostate cancer, although a lot of times prostate cancer is asymptomatic, these symptoms can be associated with that and that should be part of the workup.